On Sunday, the Army women's basketball team welcomes Seton Hall to Crystal Arena. Anna Simmers paced the Black Knight offense early, knocking down three three-pointers as Army jumped out to a 12-11 lead over the opening eight minutes. But the Pirates would respond, retaking the lead less than two minutes later. After that, the Black Knights came back with a run of their own. Jump shot off the front rim, rebound, Ekadigwe had it knocked away by Jackson who won the tip drill with her. Jackson back up with it and in. Takes a jump shot off the front rim, rebound due set, falls to the floor, somehow gets it to Hazlett up the right sideline, a one on three, contact in the lane, shot goes in, and the foul. The two teams traded baskets for the rest of the half as Army went into the break with a 25-24 lead. The start of half two was much like the end of half one, with neither side able to break away. That was until Seton Hall used a 13-2 run to take their biggest lead at 45-35 with almost eight and a half minutes to play in the game. However, Army would chip away at the deficit a few minutes later. Doucette, down low to Yardley, right block, put it up with the right hand, rims out, got it back, up and in, and she was fouled. Doucette at the point for Army. Off to Shretzman, right wing Hazlett, thought about the three, dribbles into the lane, fall away jumper, good. From five feet out, Jed Hazlett. Now with seven, Army back to within four. Again, Seton Hall stretched their lead up to nine with 2.05 to play. Hazlett kept Army's hopes alive with six straight points, cutting the deficit to three with 67 seconds remaining. Seton Hall's Brittany Morris missed two free throws with 13 seconds to go to give the Black Knights one last chance. Out of a timeout, Yardley's three-pointer was partially blocked as time ran out. Hazlett led Army with 15 points while Simmers added 13. The Black Knights hit the road on Wednesday for a matchup with St. Francis. Reporting from Crystal Arena, Rick Johnston, ITT Excellus Night Vision.